Well, it's day four. How are you doing? I'm hoping you guys have had some fun in your blanket forts and making books and playing with chalk. But right about now, maybe you're thinking, this can't be all fun and games. I've got to get some stuff done. Wondering how you can do that with your kids at home? Well, you came to the right place. Welcome to Tales of a Virtually Traveling Teacher. Maybe this isn't your particular area of shame, but for me and my family, from the time my children were born, I think, we had a basket full of socks to sort through. Who has time to do that? Well, guess what? You have small people in your house that do have nothing but time. And so my suggestion is bust out a basket of socks or any other kind of laundry that needs sorting and put your kids to work. There are so many opportunities in a basket full of clean socks for your small children. Some of them are easy learning opportunities like color matching that children can uh, learn how to put two socks together and depending on how your family handles socks, they can use those small motor skills to ball them up or fold them, whatever works for you, to sort them into whose socks they are, sort them by color, shape, size. Uh, if you have some that are maybe a character sock or um, have a print on them, that makes it even more fun. One thing that we used to love to do is on wild days when we just couldn't take it anymore, we would ball up our socks together and have a little indoor snowball fight. Of course, you need to do that where nothing's gonna get broken and where your children understand boundaries about not hitting people in the face, but overall, it can be a really good cut loose, laugh about it time. There are so many other fun laundry related activities you can do with your small children still young enough to think this is a good time. Stretch out a clothesline outside and give your children some clothespins and some socks or something small to have them hang up on the clothesline. If you don't have any of these, this is an easy order on Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, you can also give your kids a wash bin and let them actually wash maybe some of their doll clothes. However you decide to do laundry with your children, the key is to involve them. Have them sort out the laundry before you put it into wash. After it comes out, help, have them help you carry it to wherever your folding center is. Have them help fold, put away. If you always only do your chores like laundry after your children go to bed or while they're napping, then they miss out on some important life lessons. The joy and pride of starting a load of laundry and seeing it all the way through, the habits of folding and putting things away. And when your children are involved in these sorts of things, they pick up this feeling of community, that they're not just here to be entertained. They're part of a group that works together, accomplishes goals together, and takes care of the things that they have. Okay, that's your tip for today. Now go get some laundry done. If you like this video and you wanna see more, I'll be posting some more every single day. You can uh, push the buttons here and here if you're on a, a desktop device or on your laptop. Uh, if you are on a mobile device, then there's a button to subscribe right down there. Every time you like and share and purchase things from the affiliate links that are down in the description, it helps me out as I'm a, normally a traveling teacher who is uh, grounded for a little while. And that enables me to be able to do more of these for you. I hope you enjoy the rest of the time home with your children. May it be sweet. Bye-bye.